sure you check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, we back. And uh, I guess this is an a interview, and I'll link an article in the description. Uh, Young Thug hadn't did an on-camera video in quite some time. They caught him right before a performance in his trailer. And one of the topics in the interview was Lil Nas coming out at the end of Pride Week, Pride Month, excuse me. And um, same guy that sing Old Town Country Roads. And he got a couple other rap songs that I, that I heard that I like. I like the other rap songs better. I'm not really a fan of the Old Country Roads, but I understand it's a popular song. But Young Thug said he shouldn't have came out because people are too judgmental. And maybe that's why Young Thug ain't came out, all right? But we back. Good fellow Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And that's the first thing I thought. You know, he was saying, oh, you know, he shouldn't have came out. And I get to the quote. And he right. But right now is the perfect time to come out. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got the protection of the LGBT community, community, uh, GTQ community. And it really, you know, it's really the norm, you know. But he said, I feel like he probably shouldn't have told the world because these days, Mo Effus is just all judgmental, said Thugger. It ain't even about the music no more. Soon as the song come on, everybody's like this gay ass, <laughs> you know, don't even care to listen to the song no more. Just a certain, just a certain people, he young and backlash can come. Uh, behind anything at the end of the day it is what it is but it's a yin to a yang because you go back in history and they say a lot of the singers before even though it's different but a lot of singers before and it's been rappers that's you know allegedly been gay and i mean they don't look at you know certain songs uh you know uh uh no different you know what i'm saying even when there was all that fake stuff about michael jackson came out about the kids people still bang michael people still bang r kelly uh, after his situation, the situation that he going through, but I think at this at this point in time, it ain't taboo no more. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, it's cool. You know, you know, at the end of the day, certain people gonna not mess with it, and certain people gonna mess with it. Um, that's just that's just what it is. But you're not living in a lie. But if you you feel that it's gonna hurt your record sales, it feel like it's gonna hurt your credibility as a rapper. It ain't like he a gangster rapper. You know what I'm saying? He had the family song of 2019 that came from a rapper from Atlanta. I think that's a milestone in himself that he should be proud of. You know, when I heard the song, I, I thought he was gay. I ain't gonna lie. I was listening to it, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I can see it. You know what I'm saying? But I guess they look at, like, Frank Ocean. People didn't accept his music after that. And then you had the I Love Making guy that he was talking about trapping, and I'm going up on a Tuesday, and they, they disowned him, and his music wasn't the same. But in my, in my opinion, um... It's different. He's not singing no love songs where you you think he's talking about a woman, but it's another man. He ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? It's other music that he really rapping on. So I understand where Young Thug coming coming from because of the backlash and what people say. But at the end of the day, it's a good time to come out. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like it was in the '90s. And but you got rap producers and, and stuff of that nature that that they say they say been gay for years and. You know, really, really great lead singers and singers that come from groups they said have been gay. Um, but I guess it's different when you're a rapper. But anybody surprised uh, a gay rapper from Atlanta? Like majority of uh, the majority of us fans on the outside looking in, we just assume the majority of the rappers in Atlanta gay anyway. You know, especially this generation. So, you know, but this coming from Young Blood, like he shouldn't have came out. Like we all waiting for you to come out finally. You know, it ain't going to make people look at you different. You know, people defend you. Oh, he ain't gay or, you know, I still mess with him. But I feel what he's saying because you got family, you got kids, you got, um, um, you got, you know, your mother. They might have, but I understand the backlash, especially with social media stuff grow like wildfire. But he announced it the last day of Pride Week and probably his record sales stayed on top or they even went up even more. So, you know, can't nobody really gay bash you in the entertainment world without getting the backlash from the LGTB lgtq community so for you for young thug he right to a certain extent but you know what he was brave enough to come out and if his career over with guess what he probably gonna have a record for a song at the number one top of the charts for a long time he got a regular investment he made a ton of dough off this song and he made a ton of dough so he accomplished his shit but he brave enough to come out and he probably right he shouldn't have but he did say some other good things to say 
he ain't knocking him. It was smart to come out, you know, in Pride Month and all this. But when I heard who it came from, it came from M, this came from J, this came from Nas, Coogee Rap, Rakim, um, KRS, one, any other rapper, Chuck D. <laughs> um, if it came from anybody else besides him, even Lil Wayne, which I, I know about him as well, too. I would have been like, you know, I probably wouldn't have did the video, but out of all rappers, when people people been waiting, and people say he got kids, that don't mean nothing. Everybody been waiting, especially us, us you know, old, old heads. We've been waiting. The dresses, the nails, the nail, uh, the nails he be having on. We've been waiting for him to come out, so we understand he ain't gonna deal with the backlash. He gonna wait till his career dead and over with to finally come out and be clean. But hey, it's his prerogative. You know, little Nas X didn't care. He kept it one hundred, but um. It is what it is, man. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Uh, don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email as well. All those links in the description. Wonder where the intro instrumental came from. That link's there as well. If you want to make a donation, that link's there as well too. But the best donation is just to share the video. Um, and just keep sharing, man. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at TheHellblaze.com. 100% all natural products. You won't be mad, man. They got some really, really good ones, man. Uh, lotion soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair hair pomade, much, much more. Check them out. Website, 